Happy New Year, Blue Mountain Academy family. Another year has gone by and we are that much closer to the soon return of our Lord and Savior. You know, growing a beard is a time-honored tradition. Men have had various styles and cuts throughout history from the tight and trimmed, the long and bushy. Even the bearded lady gained notoriety during the heyday of the circus. But did you know that beards are a biblical affair as well? Jewish tradition tells us that during biblical times, it was a pagan tradition, thus forbidden, to shave your beard. And in Leviticus, we find that men and women were distinguished by men having a beard. Also, we find in Deuteronomy chapter 22 that men were not to dress like women, and women were not to dress like men, and this would include beards. And the Talmud tells us that a man's beard was a symbol of his maturity. Would you believe that Satan has used facial hair to gain his ends? Let's look at a few examples. 2 Samuel chapter 10 tells the story of a beard conspiracy. You see, David sent ambassadors to Hanan, king of Ammon, whose father Nahash had died. Hanan took these ambassadors and accused them of being spies. In a direct insult to both David and God, he shaved off half their beards, among other things, and sent them away in disgrace. Many times, Satan tempts us to insult God by our actions. And suddenly we lose a portion of our Christian experience. Jeremiah 41.5 tells the story of a group of men bringing a meat offering to God just after the fall of Jerusalem. They had shaved their beards, they had rent their clothes, they had cut their flesh. Now this was a mixing of the profane and the holy as God had strictly forbidden the cutting of flesh. This mixing leads to another portion of the image of Christ being removed from us under the influence of Satan. The final story is found in Judges chapter 16 where we read that Samson loses his hold upon God because his love for a worldly woman is more than his love for God. With a few snips of the scissors and scrapes of the razor, the Spirit of God moves on from his once chosen leader. Just like these bearded stories, before you know it, Satan can strip away from a person any resemblance that they might have had of Christ. Friends, New Year's is a time of resolutions, a time that we can better our lives for the upcoming year. But the beauty of God is that if a sinner truly desires forgiveness, he can find it 365 days a year, not just on January the 1st. 1 John 1, 9 tells us if we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all our unrighteousness. Jesus can, through his perfect robe of righteousness, restore unto us his perfection. This is the beauty of the gospel. This is what makes the gospel work, and it needs to be spread to all the world. May God bless us all as we, through his grace and power, do our part, our responsibility to hasten the soon return of Jesus. Thank you for your continued prayers and support, and may God richly bless you and your family in 2021.